NYU Tandon School of Engineering is a school on the rise. We're rapidly climbing up the ranks for engineering schools in North America. But we also have my program, which is the Integrated Design and Media program, which is kind of like a STEAM program. We're teaching design to engineers, integrating with all the cultural institutions in New York City. Living in New York City, working in New York City, it would be criminal to not have an engineering department in support of the arts in New York. I'm Todd Bryant. I'm the Director of Production for the Integrated Design and Media program at Tandon School of Engineering at NYU. New York University. It is over half women, which is very unique for engineering school. That's in both the student population and faculty as well. The students are very eager to know what's the next thing that's coming out. They want to make sure that they have that on their portfolio and they want to make sure that they know how to do it well. We always communicate what is industry standard and what they'll be expecting when they go into the field. The laptops and screens changed the way the students approached their thesis projects. They didn't know what true color really was and they were working on subpar machinery that wasn't going to prepare them for what computing can do in the real world. And by having access to this equipment, we were able to remove any limitations and only allow them to challenge themselves and their own creativity. Hi, uh, my name is Christopher Strawley. I am a master's student at NYU's Integrated Design and Media program. I've been using the ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 OLED. Being able to have the same kind of processing power and graphical power in a portable package, it's unparalleled. The students love the portability, the fact that they can have a workhorse with them on their own back. Take it anywhere they want to go and do their projects. Not from here sometimes. Sometimes they need to do work and get some fresh air. <laughs> The students find the ACES dial very intuitive to use with their nonlinear editing. They use it to scrub the, their timelines in the playhead. We just started using the Puget Systems Ryzen X670E ATX with ProArt motherboard. This system is hot off the presses. It didn't exist three weeks ago. We've put it to action immediately. They provided a manual to help me get started. I even got to know everyone who put their hands on the product and what they did for my product. I saw so much information at my fingertips and it was all just designed and addressed to me. It has so many inputs and outputs. We can run four monitors very easily off of it, should we need to. We have our own reference monitor. We have a very large TV in front of the ride system. We're using all the USB ports in the front for our USB interfaces that are running the 64 channels of audio. And the students can run really large projects in real time off of external drives going over USB 3. We have the Puget Systems computer connected to the ProArt display PA348CGV. The ultra-wide display allows us to look cinematically into the students' creations. We can put our software anywhere we want to on the screen. We do a lot of virtual reality here. We have a dedicated station, an area for our XR lab and it's all powered by ASUS technology. We've got an ASUS workstation at the heart of the XR lab. We're using the ASUS ProArt Station PD5. By having that processing power and not having to compile shaders with like two minutes of downtime, allows me to see the mistakes that I've made, fix them quickly, and get back on course. VR requires a lot of connections. So having all the USB ports in the front made it very easy for us to connect our devices and get everything powered and ready to go. We've connected the workstation to an ASUS display PA328 CGV. The students can now look at the virtual worlds at 165 hertz. The Kalman Verified factory calibrated screen allows the students' virtual spaces to really pop. The blacks are pure black and we don't lose everything in the white. The student is using the ASUS ProArt display PA147CDV for his sequencer where he's doing all of his animation. The form factor is perfect for a nonlinear editor. I've been using the ASUS ProArt PA148CTV as a second monitor for my thesis project in VR, which allows me to cast from a camera in engine from a third person perspective. So I'm able to kind of display both what the person in VR is seeing and a third person camera so that I can kind of move it from place to place and have a, a very portable solution for taking my show on the road. In our volumetric studio, we're using the ASUS ProArt OLED display PA32DC. It has a built-in colorometer. It's a full HD OLED display. It's true 10-bit color depth and million-to-one contrast ratio, 
provider volumetric footage with true color accuracy. And like all the ASUS monitors we have, with the flicker-free low blue light technology, it is a lifesaver for the students' eyes when they work late at night and burn the midnight oil. When they saw these monitors and these laptops, they didn't realize what color was supposed to look like. And it was an awakening to them, and it was, we call it the eyes light up moment. You could see visibly in their eyes the awe and inspiration that these colors are giving them. It's great to see that they're not being limited by hardware. The products have just, they facilitated them to be able to make their wildest creative dreams come true.